Hey, little dudes, it's Auto Man. Come on, let's check out a tour of my bus. <laughs> hey, everybody, Euro Asian Auto here. Yeah, we bought a bus. I don't ask me exactly why. I just saw it and thought it was clean and cool and people do all kinds of cool stuff with school buses. And it's a 05 Bluebird with a, a Caterpillar uh, diesel, turbo diesel engine. Uh, it's only got 130,000 miles on it. And uh, so this thing's in super good shape. Uh, we're no, I guess we could do a walk around here. It's kind of almost hard to take this whole thing in actually. See if we can zoom back out. <laughs> so I'll kind of do a walk around here. And then this one here would just be kind of a quick, uh, quick go around. Uh, I'm not going to act like I know a whole bunch about this bus because I don't. But uh, anyway, <laughs> Well, I'll look up some more specs and everything with the motor and uh, and all that stuff and put it in the comments or you can go to EuroAsianAuto.com and uh, look at the listing of the bus for all the details. But just wanted to give you a kind of a fun little, quick little walk around and tour of a freaking school bus. <laughs> oh, I think I've lost my mind. All right, well, let's check this school bus out for its flaws. All right, so actually this thing, in really incredible shape here. The uh, front bumper, you know, has got some, you know, paint. I would probably, yeah, it might, depending on what you want to do to it, but sand it down, repaint the bumper, and then, I mean, you've got a really clean bus here. Uh, coming across the front here, um, there's, I mean, this is amazing. You know, there's really hardly, I mean, considering what this thing is, uh, there is hardly any flaws on this thing. I mean, there are, I don't, I don't but uh, see there's some scuffs. But I'm just saying, I just would expect something like this to just be totally trashed. Here's the uh, block heater for the diesel engine. So coming across the front here, a couple little paint scuffs. Here's a little bit of paint peeling around the headlight. But uh, overall, actually the, the, uh, the paint's in really, really good condition. And there's really not much, not much wrong with it. Looking up at the windshield, we haven't really detailed this bus or anything, so <laughs> it's gonna take a little bit of time to clean it up, but I just wanted to bring it to you here. Because to be honest with you, you know, this thing, we wanna sell it quick because uh, I don't want this thing sitting around. <laughs> uh, on the front here, we got some Michelin uh, highway rib tires. Um, well, you can kinda see that rock in there. The, the, yeah, it's just, the tread is super deep. I should have, uh, here, let me do something. Let me, I'm gonna think on the fly here right now. I'm going to take, a penny, since that's probably a common deal. Let's drop a penny in here. Let's see what we got here. Let's put the head up here. Now, oh, oh, there goes the penny. <laughs> uh, there we go. There's the penny. There's the head. Go to the next rib, uh, even deeper. Next rib, even deeper. Last rib, there we go. These tires are, you know, I'm gonna say they're kind of almost like new. Um, it seems pretty pretty much high tread depth to me. Uh, we're gonna have some fun cleaning it up, cleaning the windows, touching it up. Uh, but just, <laughs> you're looking, this is down the side of a school bus. Uh, I'm not gonna point out every little nick and every little scratch, but you know, you really should be able to get a gist of the condition of this bus. Uh, you know, there's just, and there's no look up inside the frame here i mean it's just super clean no rust uh conway springs is a really small uh, little school district here in kansas um so obviously you know i mean i think this is you know probably very very well maintained by the school district uh let's go ahead and do the uh, penny test on the tires again um well there we go i'm not going to do each rib but basically barely the top of the head is sticking out so uh, Michelin's on the front, uh, BF Goodrich's on the back, and they're all all four the same on the back. So you know, it's not like there's just one good tire and, and they've been changed or anything. So coming around here, God, I just can't believe. I almost, you know, almost want to like, detail this thing and actually just detail it just for the heck of it. Clean it up and buff it and clean clean all the windows and hose the interior out. Interior's not even dirty. Uh, it looks like just the metal bumpers, you know, I don't think they were really finished like an automotive car, you know, probably just painted over top of the, uh, over the metal and probably didn't even really prime it. 
Let's take a look underneath the back here real quick if we can see anything. Eh, don't know really what there is to look at. Uh, got some paint popping off around a couple of the rivet spots. Hey, let's open the back door here. Let's take a look in the back. I haven't even opened this door. See if it works. Oh, yeah, it does. Cool. All right. Check it out. And I counted it. 43 passengers, not including the driver. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. If you wanted a party bus, man, this would haul the people. Checking it out down the right side of the bus. Pretty much same story as the left side. And again, the tires are the same, so I'm not gonna spec each one for you. Looking down the bus, I mean, just no major flaws, no scrapes. I mean, how does that even happen? And I, I felt like I was gonna turn sharp and scrape something uh, just driving it on my way over here. But uh, probably had the same driver, who knows its whole life, hard to say. All right, let's pop the uh, hood here, take a look at the Cummins beast of an engine. Polo, say hi there. Hello. Give me a hand with this. Go, oh, two man job, tilt. All right. All right, let's come around here. This is a Caterpillar turbo diesel engine. Uh, let me see here. I don't even know how many cylinders it is. I'm looking, uh, like I said, I haven't had time to research this thing and, and uh, I'm gonna, we're gonna park it. There's the tag, here's the ID tag. So you can kind of read that, another little tag down there. And then here's the top of the engine. But other than some dust, I mean, this thing is just super clean underneath the hood here. I mean, there's no grease, no oil. This thing just fires right up, absolutely runs perfect. Very, very cool. Very good condition. That, I can't even imagine what that, just what the motor itself is worth. But, uh, all right, well, let's uh, go and take a look inside here real quick. All right, it's probably gonna be a little bit dark in here, but uh, come on inside here. All right, this is like quirks and features overload here. <laughs> I, see, I know every one of these switches what they do, not. I don't, I don't know what any of these, well, I mean, I can figure out some of the basic stuff, but, uh, yeah, it got full gauges there, got the, oh, and here's the, uh, go get you the exact miles here real quick. All right. Bluebird. Hey. Hey, got a little chili peppers going here. <laughs> Love it. 133, 619. And it's really cool here, the driver's seat's got the uh, air ride on the driver's seat. You can just pump it up. And then, here, let's inspect each seat individually. <laughs> Not, here, I'll just do a walkthrough here. But uh, everything, hey, Polo, see if you can find interior lights. So, yeah, like I said, I gotta figure this thing's, oh, there we go, good job, Polo. This is like a, uh, Go ahead and turn that radio down, Polo. All right. Kind of showing you the seats here. I mean, it's, I like this. It's kind of cool, too. It's got red interior. I think that's kind of neat. But yeah, all the seats are in great shape. Everything, the floor. I mean, there's hardly any traffic wear on it, even. Like, if you look at the floor and look at the, uh, the steps there, really no, no any traffic. Got your mirror there. All the controls, sweet. All right, well, let's take this thing for a drive. Hey, little dudes, come on board. All right, we're on Auto Man's bus. Have a seat. All right, here we are, hold on here. Fire this bad boy up. Hey, little dudes in the back, keep it down, sit down. I got the munchies. Anybody got any pen of chips? Let's set the mood. Yeah! 
little idol, yeah! <laughs> All right, here we go, everybody. Let's fire this guy up. Uh-oh. Oh, I got it in the drive. All right, listen to that big diesel. It's like a, it's like a, basically like a semi truck here. Uh, all right, so again, got all these controls, but check out the air brake here. It's just like a truck, drop her in the drive, and let's go. Let me turn the traction control off. Oh, well, no, <laughs> no traction control, obviously. Let's take it for a spin. We've had this thing out on the highway. It just cruises 60, 70 miles on the highway. No problem at all. So let's just uh, go around the block and, you know, and everything on this thing works. Just, uh, I don't know if you, when's the last time you've been on a bus? Um, <laughs> about maybe 10 years ago. Yeah, right? It's been a lot longer for me. Let's go, let's give her the beans. All right, hey, we got a boost gauge. 11, 13, 15, 16 PSI. Woo! The zero to 60 on this thing has got to be about 15 or better. Seriously though, uh, you know, it runs and drives great. You know, we're just having some fun. But, uh, you know, just so you can kind of hear it, hear it drive, check it out. Um, you know, regardless of what it is, we've got to give you a little driving uh, driving experience on it. But, yeah, no, no, uh, no, uh, no known issues, let's put it that way. Um, you know, engines drive, brakes are great, tires, all the lights work, uh, suspension, I love this seat, man, this is super cool on the seat. Check out this seat or switch right here. Look down here. So watch as I go down. Look at that. <laughs> It'll go up. Woo! <laughs> Check it out. Oh, lots of party tricks. Oh, and it actually pumps forward and up and down to the full floater seat. But anyway, that's about as much as I know about this school bus. But uh, hey, appreciate you playing along. EuroAsianAuto.com, look us up, 800-741-8136. Look us up on Facebook, EuroAsianAuto8. EuroAsianBob here, of course. And uh, appreciate you guys riding along, and as always, happy motoring. All aboard! <laughs> there she goes. That's the long bus there. Hang loose, little dudes.